Today I am back to show you something that involves very little painting, no pouring at all, and something crafty rather than arty. So we've all got some of these at home, right? These are just plain black shoes that I had to buy for some event or other that I was going to, and they're okay, but they're really nothing exciting or special. They don't fit with my personality, which likes bright colours, glitzy things, and um, I wore them once and they've just been sat in the cupboard ever since. So I'm going to show you in this video how you can turn this into this. Look at these shoes. These are so much better. They suit my personality perfectly. They're perfect for island lifestyle and uh, lots more colour, brightness and excitement to them. These are now unique designer shoes, whereas everybody's got these. So stay tuned if you'd like to know how to do it and I'll show you step by step how I made these cute shoes for myself. So the first thing that you'll need are appropriate paints. These are Deco Art patent leather paints, as you can see here. And these are specially designed for painting shoes. They're a, um, a very flexible paint that won't crack when you walk with your shoes. And they also have excellent adhesion. So they're going to stick to any of your kind of vinyl or leather shoes. I got these in four colours. I got the white. This one is a lovely turquoise. Then I got black. I don't know why I've got black, but uh, I didn't use it in this project, but it is available in black. And then I also got red and you can buy these in so many colours. I don't know, it's like 20 colours, including metallics like um, silver and gold and lots of other colours too. So you don't have to go with the colours I've got. There's lots to choose from. And of course, as usual, I'll provide a link where you can find more about these paints and where you can buy them. So look at the, at the paints in particular. If you look at the finish on these shoes, they're kind of matte, um, nothing particularly glossy about them. But good thing is when you add the paints, the paints are very glossy. They're kind of self-leveling and as you can see, even though the, the original shoe was matte, these ones are nice and shiny and glossy. And in fact, on this one, if you look very carefully, if we look, can you see just here, if the camera will zoom in? The reason I painted these shoes in the first place is because they were damaged. I had them in a cardboard box in the cupboard because I never really um, ever wear them because they were so boring. And during one of the storms, we must have had a, a leak through the roof and the cardboard box was, was wet. And when I discovered it, the inside of the shoe was stuck to the cardboard. And in fact, when I opened it, it um, took a load of the vinyl off the front of this shoe. So the vinyl under here was really badly um, damaged. And even with a couple of layers of the paint, it's still really shiny and glossy and nice. So these paints are brilliant. So we don't need any preparation other than to clean your shoe. So just go over it with an alcohol wipe or something like that. Make sure there's no grease or any uh, bits of dirt or anything like that. And then we can start with the painting. So I'm just going to use the white and provide um, the, the body of the shoe itself with a, a white. And then I'm also going to do the heel of the shoe with a red and the inside. So as I've got here, I've done the heel with the red and then I've done the inside of the shoe here with the turquoise. So um, I found with the white, it needed two coats because obviously I'm putting white on top of black. I didn't get a perfect finish the first time, so I put two coats of the white, but the, the other ones will probably be absolutely fine with one. I did put two anyway, just, just for the hell of it, just to make them even better. So I'm going to go and paint these, and then we'll come back for our next steps. So I've got one coat of white on the shoe already, and as you can see, it's, it's looking glossy, but it's not quite covered as yet because of the black underneath. So I'm just going to do another coat. I've got um, kind of a crappy old paintbrush, really but uh, I think it would probably look even better if you had a nice one. But the paint is very, um, very smooth. So it goes on smooth and then it kind of levels really nicely so that uh, the, the finish is really nice and smooth and glossy. And any brush strokes that you see when I'm brushing it on, those all kind of just disappear and smooth out. And it should look really good in the end. So I'm just gonna put this second coat of paint on here let it dry up and then we'll come back and have a look at adding a few more colours. I think you can probably see on the front here as I brush on you see my brush strokes and then when you leave it just a little bit those brush strokes actually just disappear and the whole thing goes very smooth and glossy. So although you see them now that will all be gone by the time it's, um, it's dry. 
I've gone ahead now and I've painted the bottom of the shoe. So I've painted the heel red and I've painted the, um, the instep here and the inside of the heel this nice blue so that it matches the shoe on the other side. And what I have to do now is add this little blue toe at the front. Now when I did this one originally, I uh, actually did it by hand. I could have put a little strip of masking tape across here, but I wasn't sure whether it would actually pull any of the paint off, so I just did it by eye. So I'm gonna try and do exactly the same with this one. Good thing is I can, I've got um, some wet wipes on hand, so if I don't get it perfectly, um, perfectly right or I mess it up or it's not even or the edge isn't straight then uh, I can just take it off with a wet wipe and try again. So I'm going to kind of line them up and think okay so I want it to be about here. That look about right or is that a little bit far? Yeah I think it'll be fine. So I'm just going to take my brush and see can you see that and just I'll use the edge of the brush to basically draw a line and once I've got my line sorted I can tidy it up. Oh I'm, going, I'm already going a little bit off, I may need that wet wipe after all. Let's see how I get on. So I'm just going to start a line with the edge of the brush here and then once I've got it kind of all the way across I'll compare it to this other shoe. No, I don't think it's too bad, it's a little bit wonky in the middle there so I think I will get my wet wipe on it and just tidy that up because I think it's not quite straight. But once I run my wet wipe along, I don't know if you're able to see that, where I had that kind of little wonky line from the edge of the paintbrush, once I just run my wet wipe along the edge of that paint, it suddenly makes a nice straight line. So now I can use that as my guide and I can fill in that little blue toe and then it's going to match this other one perfectly. So I'm going to finish now with this little bit of painting on the front and then we'll come back and add all these other fun little bits and pieces. So the paint's now dry on my shoes and they're looking really good, uh, very very shiny and it's time now to do more fun stuff. So on this one I have embellished my shoes with some fabric. Now I have to tell you this fabric was not my first choice. It's kind of pretty and it's kind of bright and has the contrast with black that I really like. But I also had some Doctor Who fabric, some Star Wars fabric and some Wonder Woman. I really wanted the Wonder Woman, but my husband said he didn't think that the world was ready for Wonder Woman shoes yet and I would get more wear out of floral shoes. And he's right, of course. So I just carefully cut out some little floral pieces from the fabric in various different colors and I'm now going to attach them onto my shoes. What I'm going to use is this one. This is Deco Art Americana Decoupage and it's, uh, I've got the one which is matte. It says it's a glue, a sealer and a finish all in one, which is great because the least products you have, the easier it's going to be. So I don't need to make my shoe an exact replica of this other one. What I am going to do though is start off with this large one at the back. So if you've got any little bits here where your paint wasn't quite um, a nice smooth line, you can cover that up now with your fabric. Same with any little dribbles or anything that you got. So. I have just got a little bit of waxed paper here and I'll put my fabric piece on it with the, um, the reverse side up. If I've got any little bits, I can see a little bit there, I'll pull that off now. Give my glue a shake and then I'm just going to apply a nice generous layer to the back here, making sure I've got it all. Now I find this is really, really easy to do, really easy to use, and um, it dries really nicely on the shoe. I'm using the matte one, but they, oh, whee, all, all over. So I'm just as clumsy as I ever was. But um, they also do it in a gloss. If you want a gloss finish, you can choose that too. And pick that straight up off the bench now, there we go. So once I've got the back covered, oh, I'll take that little bit of, fluff off of there. I can just now pop it straight onto my shoe. And of course the good thing with fabric, it's so lovely and flexible. I'm just going to drape that on there where I want it and then I can pull it about, smooth it down and it nicely goes over the contours of the shoe. There we go. I can see how easily that's just going down there fits a little bit over the heel and where I've got some tiny little just the little edges there, I'm just poking those in with my fingernail 
so they get a nice smooth finish. Getting rid of any little air bubbles that are there. Going to do the same over on this side. I want a little piece there, fabric, which I can just get rid of. Okay, so that is looking pretty good. And now I will take a little bit more of my medium, the, um, the decoupage, and I'm just going to paint it right over the top. And because it's matte, I'm actually just going to take it right to the edge of the fabric and not try and get too much of it on the shoe itself because of course the shoe is painted with a, a gloss paint. If you were using a, a gloss, um, gloss decoupage glue there, I think you could take it right over the edge and it would just be fine. I'm just going to put a nice generous layer over the top and by brushing as well it's getting rid of any air bubbles and making sure the edges are all nicely sealed down. Same here, just give it a little dab with my finger to make sure it's sticking. And we are looking good. So I'm just gonna finish off doing this little piece and then add a few more, and then we'll take a look and see how cute they are. So here they are done and I have to say I love these shoes just look at how amazing those are so I don't uh, I don't know what I should say I've just been wearing them around the house just because they're so awesome that they make me smile they make me happy just to uh, to look down and see myself in these crazy shoes it makes me very very happy so the sun's out today so I'm gonna hop on outside and take some pictures of these shoes um, in their natural environment out there on the beach and I think you'll uh, you'll really like them. In fact, I'm not the only one who likes them. I know because a lady came round to buy some paintings off me yesterday and she saw the shoes on the side and she wanted to buy the shoes instead. But I unfortunately had to turn her down and say, I'm sorry, these shoes are mine. No one else gets these shoes. So I hope you've enjoyed following along. Just hang on a little bit longer and I'm gonna show you some um, pictures and also I'll send you over to a new, um, a new place that I've got called Kit. It's kit.com slash mixed media. And on there I'll be sharing my videos and also providing links to all of the materials that I use. So thank you very much and hope to see you here again very soon.